Hello, in this short video I'm going to show you how to install GNS3 onto Windows 8. First of all we need to go to gns3.net. For those of you who don't know what GNS3 is, it's an amazing piece of software that lets you run routers and uh, GNOS devices, uh, simulation of a switch but not exactly, but you can run any routing topology you want subject to your hardware on your laptop or your PC and it's brilliant. Right, what am I doing here? So we need to go to download. I want the Windows all-in-one. I've done that already so I'll stop doing that now. This takes you to SourceForge and your download will start in a few seconds and it's a 46 meg download so it's going to take a couple minutes. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to pause this video while it downloads. Okay, we're downloaded now. So, all we need to do is find where you downloaded the file and double click it. This will unpack the software. and it's basically a next read the terms also with this latest version of uh, oh, hello. with the latest version of GNS3 it comes now with a uh, win wire shark which is fantastic you can literally click on a wire between two routers capture the traffic and explore that traffic in wireshark Store. Basically, next, 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 all the way through. That's the WinP cap installed, which allows you to tra capture the traffic. Okay, I think I've done the 32 bit version. I've got a 64 bit version of Windows. So. Okay, this is installing Wireshark now. You don't have to do this to install GNS3, uh, but it, if you're going to use GNS3, you might as well install everything. Let's pause this again while it installs. Okay, that's installed Wireshark. We don't want to run it, and uh, now we're installing the most important bit, the GNS3. You will need a valid Cisco router image to run GNS3. Um, I'm not going to tell you where to find a valid router image. Uh, most of you can use your common sense and to where, where to get one from. I would recommend a 3725 image. Uh, I will post in the description of this video uh, the exact image that I use, which seems to run best with GNS3. Okay, so finish. We're now going to start GNS3. So let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Okay, once GNS3 starts, you've got a couple things that you need to set up. So first of all, step one, just ensure that everything's working. You click OK, you click Test Settings. And if it's installed correctly on your machine, you'll get a green tick here. Yeah, so that's fine. OK, Windows Firewall's going to want to get out. We can let that happen. So GNS3 is happy with this. I uh, now ask you whether you'd like to create projects and image directories. I would suggest that you do create this. So I've got on my machine, on the C drive, or wherever you saved it, a folder called projects and a folder called images. So here we have your project directory is currently my users. Roger GNS3 projects 
and this is going to use as Roger GS3 images, which for the, for the sake of this is fine for the moment. And then you need an uncompressed IOS image. Okay, we'll just click OK for the moment and show you a little bit around the GNS3 window.